All right, folks, I'm going to talk a little bit today about the Harvest Tech on these balers. Um, I had a guy ask me what I thought about them and kind of what we use them for and whatnot. Um, but now they've come out with a new version that I just installed on my newest baler. So I'm going to go through the differences on that as well. If you come over here, you can see the old style systems use three hoses and three pumps from the tank that come down and go to a spray bar. And I'll kind of run you through this baler prior to going to that baler, but it's basically what it is. It's got the crop sense and eyes um, and three hoses and whatnot and a harness that goes to the tractor. Um, and each each pump sprays a different output. So we'll run around here. We'll kind of look at this tank set up. Um, it has a controller mounted here on, on the old style. So this is the, the old version, which all this is ISO bus. So this is, isn't their oldest version, but um, it still runs this controller off the side of the baler. And then everything else uh, goes up to the tank or to the tractor. So I'll take you guys up here. Now, the one thing I will say about these older ones, they're a little more sanitary look on the tank as far as the way that the pumps mount and everything. Uh, it's got a little controller there, but there's your three pumps off the tank. Um, but those pumps get dirt in them and they're kind of a bastard to maintain, to keep them going. Uh, we're constantly taking them apart and whatnot. But having said that, I really hate to use this acid. I really like the moisture. Uh, stars star wheels for reading the moisture that's that's what i like the most about it but we do very rarely get into situations where we have to um, run the acid the propionic acid in these so but i don't like to uh, having said that i think their book tells you that you can run i can't remember what it is there's three different settings so pump one will run up to like say 15 16 percent moisture pump two is supposed to run to like 19 percent and pump three is supposed to go to like 24 percent you're not supposed to go over 24 percent i believe that's dew moisture stem moisture don't bail um but we've trialed that and you don't want to go in my area you don't want to go over 19 percent dew moisture um, but it will protect up to 19 percent so i have all my pumps come on up to 19 percent if i get over that i won't um, I won't bail because it won't protect after that in my area. <clears throat> Dew moisture. Stem moisture is probably closer to 17% that it'll protect to. Um, and we run a product, we run a stouter product from uh, um, Performix, I do believe. Um, it's, it's got a little more propionic acid in it than just your Agco brand or New Holland brand, which it's all the same. They just slap a New Holland sticker on the side of that tote or an Agco sticker on the side of that tote that, that like your dealers will sell you. It's not near stout enough, um, but the stuff that we use is, is pretty stout. Um, but like I said, I, I don't trust it over 19% uh, dew moisture, and I, I won't trust it probably over 17% stem moisture, and I really hate bailing at that. It's one of those things that it, it's gonna have to rain on me like a son of a bitch for me to wanna bail like that. But um, having said that, we have run gazikas on these balers in the past. Um, the gazikas are very pretty accurate in alfalfa, but they're not very accurate in grass. I've had some situations where my harvest tech will read 18 to 20% moisture and that gazika will only read like 10% and I'll get out and probe it and it's 18 to 20%. And so that, we got rid of the gazikas for that. Um, we had some brown, not very many, but we had a few brown bales and stuff from the gazikas on all three of the balers. That, I had three balers that had them on them. All three of them read identical. They were all calibrated correctly, but uh, grain and grass, the gazikas were not as accurate. Uh, the star wheel is, is a lot more accurate system. So, but that's kind of, I basically more so use them for just reading moisture because that's, it's almost an identical reading to what I'll get with a hand probe. All right, let's move over to this other baler. So I really like what they did with this one. I'm gonna take you guys up here as far as they're, they only run one pump now, but I'm not a whole, I'm not a real big fan of how sanitary this looks everything's kind of open had to tie some wires up and and whatnot um but that's the only controller right there is the only controller on this so 
as far as the rest of the baler, it's a way better look, but I feel this could have been a little cleaner looking, um, but it is a lot simpler. So it's one hose runs off this, um, that one pump controls your flow and it'll come up to two. So everything is run off the passenger side on, on the hoses, on the old style. Everything is, everything is run off the driver's side now on these new ones. It comes up, um, we routed it as clean as we could, um, ran our hose down through here, and it goes to two solenoids for your spray bar right there for light and heavy use. So I like that. Um, I think that's going to work out pretty well. It's a lot less maintenance, um, and it goes to the same style spray bar right there, but it only has two uh, sets of sprayers instead of three and there's no controller here you know so everything looks a little bit cleaner there and obviously we when we do these we we do as clean of a job as we can put grommets and everything for crop sense and eyes and whatnot try to make it look like it came factory that way but uh, yeah so I think that's a good look um, this is quite a bit better design i just wasn't a real fan of how they covered up there on their pumps and stuff on the tank but i think it's going to do a good job now i haven't got to see this on the iso bus part of the tractor so i'm not really sure how that's going to run i know there's a little bit different sequence that you set up um and the harness is quite a bit heavier duty that goes to that so this is what's going to plug into the tractor side now um and this is what the old ones look like here and you can see this has got zip ties on it because these ones are kind of weak so we'd have to zip tie them together to, to hold connection over time so that's why all those zip ties are on there um because we zip tied to the tractor side of the harness so i think that harness is going to be quite a bit better but as far as overall cleanliness of the system i like this new one better um than than the old style so but they both do a pretty good job. You just really have, if you know you're going to be bailing moisture, you really got to manually kick on your pumps. You got to, like on this one, I don't, I don't know on this one yet, but on this one, what we would do is we'd manually kick on the pumps, make sure to bleed all the air out of the lines and make sure all your spray bars are spraying and make sure each pump is working because occasionally they'll get dust in the pump and the pump won't run. You have to pull it apart and clean it out. So always, we always make sure we do that. Um, so... If you know you're going to bail moisture, just make sure you do that. Don't just trust that they're going to come on. Um, but on this new one, it might be a whole different ball game. Obviously, there's a lot less parts, so that's going to be nicer um, for overall maintenance. But as far as product, we like the Performix. Tried a couple different products. Obviously, the one that New Holland sells for them, which is the same for Agco. Um, but we use it's a. It comes from a company called Performix. Um, I don't know what exactly what it's called. Um, but I just know it's quite a bit more stout. But basically we just like to use them for the moisture sensing part of it. We got an idea of what the moisture is all the way around every field. We kind of know, hey, we got a little moisture over here. Let's stack these bales separate or something like that. You know, it's just nice to have that comfortability there. But as far as the acid part of it, I'm not a real fan of running it. Cattle kind of turn away from it. I mean, they'll eat it, but they'll turn away from it if you're dumping that stuff on heavy. Um, they'll turn and go to something that doesn't have it first and then they'll have to come back and eat it but so i'm not a real fan of that but to an extent it does protect your hay so that's what i've got today and if you're thinking about getting a moisture kit the harvest tech for reading moisture is as accurate as you can get i have ran gazikas in the past three of them on three separate balers um and they all read identical to each other, but in some conditions, not alfalfa, but in some conditions, it was way different than a harvest tech. And it was wrong. Um, Cause we found out just by had five or six bales that turned brown and we knew the harvest tech was reading high. So we stopped baling. We watched those bales and they did, they did get some brown in them um, because the gazika was reading low. So had I been just using a gazika, could have had some big problems there. Um, but I do think Gazika makes a good product for alfalfa and whatnot, but there is some situations where that microwave technology is just, I don't believe it's as good as actual contact on the bale. So that's all I've got for you folks.